When we are at the beginning of creating an NFT collection, there are two main factors we need to consider. The first one is a total number of the NFTs. People tend to do 10K, which is somehow just a random number, but in fact, it is usually because there was in history a collection called CryptoPunks that had 10K um, you know, NFTs in there. And so this 10K number became really popular because everyone is just copying a success story, right? But at the same time, people also you know, deviate from a norm. So nowadays you can see a lot of funny numbers like 7,777. And again, it's a completely random number. The second factor is the rarity of each NFT in the collection. The rarity is ultimately tied with the traits that each of the NFT has. So the main question here is, how do we make some of the NFTs in the collection more valuable than the other? And the easiest way to do it is to limit number of certain traits in the entire collection. And here is how you do it. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using the Raptor Ultra Generator that is the highest and the newest, the best version of the Raptor plugin for Blender. First, let's check out the attributes and traits that we got here in the scene. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attributes in total. And in each, there are uh, some number of traits starting from one all the way to even uh, five or uh, seven, eight. So each of the attribute is quite diverse. And so first of all, the thing that we usually would do first in the Rapture is deep analyze this one will calculate all the possible combinations and so that's something that is really important to start with so we have a starting point let's go with okay you can see that there is 5400 combinations now you can see that we got the max now here in britain and the next feature that is also kind of nice in the Raptor Ultra is that the amounts of the trades are not changing at all. So we need to reset the amounts to get the full view on numbers. So you can see that, for example, if there is only one Steam uh, bun in the attribute Bauban, it actually holds all uh, the possible combinations. So everything is combined with just one Steve Bun. So that's why there is 5,400. So the question here is how we possibly can make some trades more rare than the other and thus creating the valuable combinations. So as I mentioned, the very first factor, we need to decide how many NFTs we want to make, right? So if we have only 5,400 maximum possible combinations, I would make, let's say, 100 from it. So that's a reasonable number based on the maximum number. So our target number is 100. To do so, let's start with the steamed bun. So in here, we have only one trade, so that's fairly easy. We're just gonna put 100 over here. So you can see that the sum amount here change uh, to 100. And now let's move to the body close attribute so we have three of those over here of course um, let's say that we want them to be kind of evenly spread it right now so let's do 33 33 and then uh, 34 that's uh, another 100 here and we will continue with the eye accessory uh, so again we will just go with uh, the even spread 33 33 33 Oops, 30, 34 actually to get 100. If um, you would be actually missing some, let's say if we actually did 30, you can see that the sub amount is here only 96. So this is a number that helps us um, to kind of align all the traits or the number of it. So let's go with 34. Let's move on to the attribute gadgets that's the my favorite part of this collection by the way you know there is this drone and then there's r2 and all the droids i just really love it so here let's say that i'm actually more picky right i don't want to have the even spread so i will now try to modify the numbers according to the rarities that is being calculated here so i will just casually start with 20 20 20 everywhere just to see if we hit 100 and now we can just play with it right so i believe that the droid r2 should be more rare you know it's just r2 so let's let there be only five of it so right now when we modify one number of course we're gonna miss 15 combinations 
and so we have to add it somewhere right so i will just add more of the drum here to let's say 30 then the rest of the five will go with the droid bb8 that's also a lovely one so so there should be a lot of it in the collection so now we have the hand accessory here it's also interesting because we have a lightsaber a double lightsaber you know there's a shield even a starbucks coffee or a car key mic so in here we can play a little bit with it as well i would say so let's go with 10 10 each everywhere right so we are missing 20 still so i'm gonna add a cola zero to 20 and maybe a blaster that's a reasonable one as well right and again we can immediately see that the lightsaber or the double lightsaber might be the traits that we want them to be super unique so if i would just make maybe one combination with the lightsaber that would be really interesting because then it would just make this trait suddenly very very rare right um, around one percent as we can see it here so uh, with a double lightsaber Let's do two of those. So now we can see that the varieties are around one or two percent, which is kind of nice, right? And then we can add more of, let's say, the blaster again. So let's just move it all the way to 100. So we can see that this one has 37. So it would be more of the common trait. We are almost done. Now the head accessory are waiting here for us. Again, we can see that we have around five of the traits. So let's even of 20 20 20 and here i feel that we don't want to be that picky so we'll just leave it as it is and now moving to the trousers and again we can just make it even so let's go with 33 34 and 33 so at this point we just finish with setting the amounts of all the traits in each attribute to a hundred whenever we change an amount of a trade here we need to always do something that is called recalculate combinations and this one will update the total number of combinations here where the zero is currently based on the amounts that we just set so let's do it right now we can see that the number that got calculated is actually not 100 the desired number for the total amount of nfts that we decided at the beginning but it's only 98 and let's examine why so the reason we got 98 real sum of the amounts is because based on these amounts here some combinations were left out so in our case it's probably due to the lightsaber or the other double lightsaber so because we only allowed to have one lightsaber in the whole collection and that means that all the other combinations with the lightsaber are not now in there so that's why there is a possibility that we would be missing in this case two combinations to achieve a hundred at this point we have three ways how we can solve this problem and get a hundred real amount of combinations not only 98 first one is tweaking all the amounts and then scroll all the way down to do the calculation right so you would just tweak it and then finally at some random point you would just hope to get a hundred or you can turn on the recalculation so that's something that does the recalculation for us so whenever i would change a number here it would just do a recalculation of the whole and you would see this number here being updated as well i would just turn off the auto recalculation because in the case of ours having it on is quite fast but if you had millions or trillions of possible combinations it would be really slow to work with changing the amounts so i just prefer to have it on demand so let's just leave it off so the third option to get 100 combinations is to use the auto resolve amounts so let's click on this magic button now it says that to get 100 combinations it needs to adjust the amounts of following trades so we can see that there are certain uh, modifications that we would need to accept in order to get the 100 combination if you look closer we can see that for example it needs to add two double lightsabers in order to get to the 100 so it's just gonna modify a little bit of the rarity that we set but having it as before we wouldn't achieve 100 so let's press ok and you can see that it modified the amounts and now let's do the calculation and voila 
the total number of combinations changed to a hundred. When we are done with setting all the amounts of the trades and having, you know, the total number of combinations that we wanted, we can move further down and do the deep generation. Deep generation is done as it can be seen here in the Blender console. And we can see that the deep generation took three seconds and something to finish a hundred combinations. So let's explore the generated combinations. So when I move the frame number in the timeline, I can see that with the each frame, we have a unique combination generated. If you wanted to render the collection, we can just scroll down in the Raptor and find the render settings. And here we can batch render the combinations. So we basically can just start from any of the index here all the way up to a hundred and just render how many we want. And these are the final renders. If you were paying attention enough, you might have seen that some of the traits are behaving quite strangely. The Mandalorian helmet and the holo lenses got combined, which is actually correct in terms of generating the combinations. But the fact is that those two traits are actually crashing or overlapping in the 3D scene. And that happens quite often that you have traits that simply uh, are in different attributes and then uh, you actually don't want them to be uh, combined, right? And there is actually a solution in the Router Ultra for that, which is called Rule Settings, where you can set rules in order to get certain traits not to be combined with the others. If you are interested in the rule settings for your traits and the way it's set up in the Raptor Ultra, I recommend watching this video. Subscribe if you have not. Thank you so much for watching and time is... Oh.